Well, this here is the all new Mahindra Marazzo and Mahindra's marketing team says that this car looks like a shark and is as smooth as a shark. But the big question is that has it got the killer instinct of a shark and can it eat up all its other rivals? Can it eat up sales figures of the Ertiga and the Nova? We'll answer that question in the next seven or eight minutes. But before that, it's time to take a selfie with the car for my Instagram page. And if you aren't on Instagram, you should be on Instagram and follow me over there because uh, my handle is flashing below your screen. And also follow the team at autoportal underscore India. Let's jump into the cabin and find out how good this car really is. Well, in terms of the interiors, I have good news for you and that is that the quality of this car is pretty good. The top of the dashboard is very well put together and the top of the door pads here also is a solid and uh, the seats also are very good in terms of comfort. You get your own armrest here and in terms of storage places also, it's a nice place to be. You get a huge box which also has a lid on top of it. So it is a nice MPV for sheer space as well as practicality and comfort. Now, there are a couple of things which could have been better. The design of the center console is slightly on the boring side, including this infotainment system, which really doesn't have the best of menus or great legibility. And uh, the switches over here for the uh, AC are from the XUE, and the quality really isn't as good as the rest of the dashboard. So maybe a few points for me to think about. But overall, out of a score of 100, I'd give it a very strong score of 88. <laughs> Well, in terms of the back seat experience, I have to say that Mahindra has done a fantastic job with the second row of seats. As you can see, knee room is more than sufficient. There's place below the front seats where I can keep my feet. You get your own AC vents, which have a nice and strong throw of air. And the seats also, the captain seats here, are very good in terms of comfort. Now, in terms of comparisons, people will uh, definitely compare them with the Nova's captain seats. And I think these seats really are as good as the Nova's. If they're better, only a comparison will reveal. But uh, to be honest, these seats do seem to have the same amount of support as well as cushioning. What also adds to the uh, comfort factor here is the fact that the doors open really nice and wide. The aperture is really nice and wide and you also get huge windows at the back. So you never feel claustrophobic on those long highway trips. And if I had to give a score out of 100, I'd uh, give the Marazzo a very strong score of 90 in terms of the back seat experience because these seats really are very good. And uh, over long distance journeys, you will really be relaxed and comfortable in these seats at the back. Well, in terms of the last row of seats, they have decent place, but uh, only best for kids over short uh, city trips because uh, they're not as roomy as the Nova seats, but at par with the Ertiga. So I'm not really going to jump in them and show you their space because it will look a little ungainly. Well, so the big news is that the Mahindra Marazzo comes with a 1.5 liter diesel engine only. There's no petrol option as yet. And you also get a six speed gearbox. Now this engine makes about 121 bhp of outright power. And uh, these are good figures and decent figures. The good part about this engine is that it starts responding from a relatively lowish RPM. So you don't really have to push it all the way up to 2000 to 2500 RPM to get it going. You can easily get this car going from around 1400, 1500 RPM. And that's a good thing for people who drive a lot in the city and what also makes it a nice car for city driving is the fact that the steering wheel is really really a very ultra light unit you don't need to put in any effort into it it's a very soft steering wheel and the clutch on this car also doesn't feel like you're driving a diesel car it feels as if you're driving a petrol powered car it really is very linear very smooth the gearbox well it's accurate but the throws are long and it does need a bit of a hand to shift in but because the steering wheel and the clutch are so light you can forgive Mahindra for giving it a slightly heavy care lever. Well, so how is the Marazzo the drive? In terms of the uh, power delivery, you'll be happy with the power delivery and you'll also be happy with the fact that this is a six-speed gearbox, which gives it great flexibility on the highway. And if you're driving or cruising on the highway at about 100 kph, then the engine is spinning at a relatively low 2000 RPM, which means that the cabin feels nice and quiet. But uh, when you have this engine hard in the city, there is a little bit of engine noise which enters the cabin, but that's quite okay because most of its other rivals also do display a little bit of engine noise. Well, the good point about the car though is its overall suspension setup. It's a nice and soft suspension, which means that it really does eat up the badly patched up roads in the city quite easily. 
but on the highway you will have to slow down for those uh, badly pasted roads because uh, sometimes it can just allow a few of those uh, potholes to enter the cabin so you have to slow down on the highway but in the city it really does soak in the bumps very well and eats them up quite nicely special mention has to be made about the overall visibility from the Marat so it really is a fantastic MPV for sheer visibility you get this nice quarter glass window here so you can easily maneuver around those roundabouts you get big chunky mirrors the side mirrors also are nice and big so there's plenty in terms of visibility no complaints in that department what you'll also enjoy about the Marazzo is the fact that the braking and the grip from the tires is very good the uh, grip level from the tires is absolutely uh, brilliant and you will never be felt uh, wanting for more grip especially if you take it up the hills and are pushing it around corners yes uh, the car does roll around a bit but that's quite okay because uh, this is a big and heavy MPV so all other MPVs do have that tendency it's not a sports car remember so that's quite okay but in terms of sheer driving dynamics as I just said it's a nice comfortable and relaxing car it's not a car that you can hustle too much because it won't reward the uh, driver who hustles it because the gearbox can need a heavy hand to shift and also the engine does start to become a little boomy but if you decide to drive it in a nice and sober manner it is quite a relaxing car and I would definitely give it uh, good marks in terms of power delivery especially when you compare it with the Ertica which only has about 90 bhp this one remember has 120 bhp and those extra horses really do make a difference more so on the highway and even they do inside the city well overall the Mahindra Marazzo really is a very nice alternative to established rivals it comes across with comfortable seats a nice and refined engine and Mahindra's tried and tested service and sales network all at a relatively affordable price. And what I'm essentially trying to say is that if you're in the market for an MPV, you should definitely go ahead and check out the new Marazzo at a Mahindra dealership near you. So bye for now and thanks for watching.